everyone, Laurel here. I made this card and posted it on yesterday's blog and um, it was inspired by the clean and simple card making class over at the online card classes. If you're not taking it, you're crazy. Um, I put my own twist on it by using the distress markers and I wanted to compare them to what they would look like if I used the ink tense color pencils. So that's what I'm doing here today. So I'm taking that Hero Arts Lattice background and I'm going to heat emboss it on some craft cardstock, which is Nina uh, Desert Storm, and then also on some white cardstock, which is Nina Solar White. Um, I'm just going to heat emboss and clear embossing powder on both of these uh, card bases uh, before we get to work on the watercoloring. I have no patience, so I'm just going to zap both pieces with my heat gun um, to move it along, and I'm going to do the same process like I said on this white card base. I wanted to do the same design on two different colors. Um, I just pulled out some pencils, colors that I like. I've got the uh, 24 pack, but Simon Says Stamp also carries the 12 pack of these intense colored pencils. And I also finally picked up the Tim Holtz or Ranger uh, water brush markers or brushes, whatever they're called, and this is the broad tip. Um, so I use ink tense pencils a couple of different ways. One is right here. I pick up the ink directly off of the pencil and then I just put it down and uh, that's what I'm doing here. I'm not cleaning off my brush in between the colors because I wanted the colors to blend together. The more water you use, the more muted the color will be. The less water you use, the more vibrant the color will be. So I'm just kind of winging it. I, I haven't, this, uh, this video is me using the ink tense pencils for the first time uh, using this technique so I'm learning along with you but anyway with the broad tip pencil it also makes it really easy and I'm not being you know I'm not trying to be even and keeping it all straight I'm just you know it's kind of fun uh, obviously there I'm just going to dry it up and then I decided hey I want my colors to be darker so look just pick up a little bit of water pick up your color off of the pencil and boom you get these really vibrant 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 colors so it just depends on how vibrant you want them to be, or ink intense, which is why they're called ink tense pencils. <laughs> uh, so anyway, that's what I did on the white one. And uh, since my card that I made yesterday was on craft, I wanted to do the same thing on the craft card base so you could see the comparison between the two. Um, you can use watercolor pencil uh, paper. I just used regular cardstock just so you guys could see that it works. Now with the, the craft one, I decided to scribble the pencil actually onto the card base and uh, then just swipe the water brush across across the paper and I tell you what that went a lot quicker um, so both are, are good techniques and the good thing about these pencils is once they're dry they're set and they're permanent so if you go and add water to it it's not going to mess up your original color that you laid down I'm going to use this neat and tangled stamp set I'm going to use one of the sentiments uh, from the stamp set it'll be linked up on my blog and because I embossed that background, I'm going to be using some stays on ink in jet black. And I'm just going to stamp my sentiment directly over the top there. And uh, do the same thing to the white. And I'm done. You can round the corners, add some ribbon, whatever. But I just wanted to share the comparison. The middle one is the markers, and the one to the left is the ink tense pencils. And you can definitely tell the difference between the two. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you found it helpful in looking at the difference between the ink tints, watercolor pencils, and the distress markers. Here's a close-up of um, all three cards and then a close-up of the two I made today in the video. Thanks so much for watching.